Hello, all of you being glorious, you wonderful people. This is the Dune FAV. And I'm about to find out if it'll off-road. This is the second most voted for vehicle this week. Coming in with uh, 27 votes. Not a huge amount, but still, you know, it's enough. And we throw a boom comment up on the screen. And yeah, I kind of enjoyed it. That video was so much fun to make. I feel like I featured this comment before. Maybe I did. I don't know. It's been so long since I've had a new video other than Rockstar News and live stream archives. But those are just exported from Twitch. I don't actually upload them. Well, some of them recently I have. Because the Red Dead Redemption uh, archives were... Uh, I cut the stream in half. And because the game kept crashing, I uh, hope that those issues are behind us now. Um, and then I uh, would switch to a different game, usually Astroneer. So I actually used my local copy and just um, split them into two separate videos and upload them when they go live um, separately. Which you'll have already seen those by the time, oh my god, a wild zebra appeared. Um, I didn't know there were zebras in Los Santos. Uh, so, let's talk about a couple things. First of all, last time, uh, when there was Willet Off-Road. Actually, let's put that on pause. It's been a while since I've uploaded, and that's because my internet has been an issue. When I'm recording this voiceover, I don't even know when my internet is finally going to be fixed. It could be a week from now, two weeks from now. It, it, they keep finding something wrong, fixing it, and then that still hasn't fixed the problem. So what that tells me is the local network is in really poor shape because uh, they, they keep finding things that are broken and wrong, and yet I still have internet connectivity problems. It just seems like the whole thing's falling apart. Um, so yeah, no idea when that's going to come up. But two, I promised in the last Toilet Off-Road video to show you guys a public version. Oh yeah, by the way, uh, this thing doesn't have the best brakes, and it also likes to get airborne on little bumps and jumps. And those two just conspired against me. I was going to start over, but it's actually a characteristic of the vehicle that caused the problem. I should have been more aware of it. But I wasn't. And, you know, it's something to get easily get caught out in in the FAV. If you're airborne and you're heading towards a cliff and you need to slow down and turn to avoid it, and you can't because you're airborne, and then when you do get on the ground, the brakes aren't good enough to stop you anyway. Wound up skipping part of the trail because this is just where we wound up. Um, but anyway, last time I promised you guys a public version of the behind the scenes video that I usually update or upload for uh, those who support my channel either through Patreon by being a YouTube member or a Twitch subscriber. And we'll talk about the ins and outs of why that didn't happen this week. Um, but first, I want to say it's the reason you may notice that the video kind of stutters a little bit on some frames. That's because this video was recorded simultaneously while I was also live streaming the gameplay. Um, so yeah, it was a bit of a strain on my computer, even my beast on the computer. But the FAV, after 3 minutes and 14 seconds, is up to the top of Mount Chiliad. Will it off-road? Yeah, but not as well as I expected. Just ignore that hand sticking out from underneath the vehicle. There's nothing to see here. Move along. Uh, that makes it only 14th uh, in off-road out of 24. And, okay, Rocket is just going to carry spin away. Um, sure, why not? Uh, <laughs> the most random things happen when we do this as a group activity. And that's why I love having other people in here. Um... It looks like Rocket might be struggling to lift that Night Shark, too, because he's not getting a whole lot of altitude there. But anyways, it also makes it 126 uh, overall out of 251 vehicles, so just kind of middle of the road, really. It's just not the best, and a lot of it was because it ran off the road. It probably could have got a decent time. Definitely would have broken under three minutes, uh, but it would definitely gone higher up in the ranks. But yeah, the reason it's so choppy is because not only did I have... Um, my normal recording software, which was probably... I probably had to use Shadowplay to capture this, or maybe even... I might have used Bandicam, it's hard to say. But my video card was also busy in quoting, uh, encoding the live stream, too. So it was doing double duty, or triple duty, playing the game, which GTA puts like a 10% strain on my video card. Big whoop. Um, 
But then it was using all those encoding cores that it uses to encode. Um, geek speak there. Rocket seems to have lost spin somewhere along the way. Um, and uh, then it was also having to encode it again to make this video. Plus, it was recording to my hard drive at a really high bit rate for whatever recording software I was using. Plus, at a medium bit rate for the copy that I keep from live streams. And yep, there we go again with the thing not doing so well on some bumps, and off we go. Uh, but anyways, that's why the video is a little bit jerky. So, why aren't you seeing the behind-the-scenes video? Well, neither are the supporters. And the reason being is when I record Will It Off-Road, I have to turn up my game volume a little bit loud. Because the way I record the Discord audio and game audio and all that is through separate devices. And for me to be able to... I have to actually play the game audio through speakers. Uh, and... I, I keep it turned up, but that usually isn't loud enough to be heard by the microphone. Um, for some reason, in the, the copy that went live on Twitch, I guess because of the way the microphone was staying voice activated by Twitch, it was constantly picking up my game volume. And the two created just this horrible echo. Oh, I guess Rocket crashed. But they just created this this really, really, like, painful to listen to echo in the footage I had that includes all the Discord chat and my voice uh, from Discord as well. So, no behind-the-scenes video at all for this one. We are down three minutes and one second. Almost hit a cop. We're going to go back to the top of Mount Chiliad, fling this thing off the side. But that's not to say that there's not some behind-the-scenes stuff in this video. I know I promised a uh, behind the scenes video so you guys could get a taste of what those are like. And sure, that's just blatant advertising on my part. I readily admit it. I would love to have more people support my channel because, well, you know, I'm unemployed. And that's, you know, I, that's my only money is from YouTube and Twitch um, and Patreon. So uh, it helps. But uh, that zebra seems to have reappeared and is once again wrestling with me going down through here. Um, but after the control descent of the next vehicle, I'll have some uh, behind the scenes footage for about two minutes in this video. Uh, you just won't get to hear all the commentary that was happening in the Discord. And I do apologize. I, I just did not realize that my local copy of it was in such bad shape uh, when I promised that we would have it. I will figure out a, a better way to do it. What, I, what I'll do is not live stream it. Because it's throwing in that live stream element that caused the problem. Um, just because, you know, you only have so many input and output devices to be able to capture video and audio. You know what? I think I just heard an engine rattle. That's really weird because I usually check for an engine rattle starting about here. I just rewind the footage to about that point and listen for an engine rattle. And I didn't hear it. But, yeah, there was definitely an engine rattle there. So whether or not I remember to update the end screen for this vehicle on the damage, there's definitely engine damage that has been done. Um, it's so strange I didn't catch that while I was editing the video. Yeah, it's not really that pronounced down here. That's really strange. It's bizarre. Let me see if I can say strange a few more times. Strange, strange, strange. But we're down. 1 minute 43 seconds, almost 44. Almost uh, onto the other side of the highway there because of those crap brakes. Has headlights out and slightly bent wheels and, of course, some engine damage. We will take a look at the support vehicles as well to see how they fared. Uh, Rocket appears to be kicking the air. Um, and there we are from the backside. So that brings us to our next vehicle, the Karen Intruder. And you may notice that it is already afternoon when we're recording this because it rained for most of the day in game. Made it like a two and a half hour long live stream. But this is our most voted for vehicle this week, coming in with 93 votes. Make sure you click on that link in the description down below and go vote. We have a comment that was actually just posted recently on one of the older uh, Will It Off Road videos. And I got to agree with you, Awesome Rock 9080. I love the Emperor too. Uh, it's a great car. I mean, it's not as pretty as the Vignana, but you know, it's got style. And I like it. Plus, you know, Lamar Davis tries it. 
Um, so yeah, after we do the controlled descent on the intruder here, we will have some shenanigans that happened at the top of Mount Chiliad. So, you know, anytime I get a late start like this, you guys know I try to avoid as much as possible recording when it's nighttime in game because I know that the majority of my audience watches on mobile devices. Oh, I heard a notification beep. I forgot to turn those off. Professional YouTuber at work, ladies and gentlemen. Um, but anyways, I, I try to avoid recording at night because I know that the vast majority, like 80% of my views come from mobile devices. And I know that when it's dark in game, just because you're on a smaller screen, it's really hard to see all the details when it's dark. And I take that into account. I've learned my lessons on that. Um, mainly in one of the hidden vehicle videos from a couple years back. When somebody bitched at me in the comments about it. Um, Why is you stupid? You recorded at nighttime. I couldn't see anything. And I'm like, what are you talking about? I can see fine. And then I thought about it. You know, my, I have a well, now 27-inch monitor in front of me. I used to use a 32-inch monitor. So, of course, it's bigger. I can see the details that you can't see on the smaller screen. You know, I haven't really talked much about these vehicles today. So, if you're playing Will It Off-Road Bingo, and if you're not, why not? The link is also in the description down below. And you just click Generate Card once you go there, and you can play along. You just check off a box, and if you get bingo, put it in the comments. But, uh, yeah, I haven't spent a lot of time talking about the cars, mainly because they're both pretty unremarkable. Don't get me wrong. I like the Intruder. I, I do actually like this car. I mean, it's not fast or impressive or anything. I just like that it has that stupid ground effects kit and the, the bumpers extensions. Um, I just think it's great, you know, that here is you know, this big family sedan with, you know, some sport package appearance stuff. I think it even has a different exhaust that you can add to it. I could be wrong. On that. It's been so long, and I've had this car for so long, I don't really remember what the upgrades are. But I do like it, and I do drive it from time to time. And if I see intruders out, and I very rarely call in my own car, which I know I own like 300 and some odd cars across two characters, maybe up to 400 and some odd now, I'm not sure. And yet I never use my own vehicle unless it's just out. I just steal whatever's nearby, but if there's an intruder, I will go to the intruder every time. But it's done a respectable run, it's just not been you know, right up there in, you know, that upper echelon. But it's climbing up just fine. It's had no struggles, really. It's just driven up the mountain in three minutes and four seconds. So will the intruder off-road? Yeah, I mean, it did fine. It, it held its own. It didn't meet that or beat that magical three-minute mark, but it still did okay. And it's enough to be second in sedans. Then again, that's not saying a lot because, you know, they're sedans. But that's second out of 19 that we've tested. Um, it is, however, 10 seconds slower than the number one sedan, which is the Zirconium Stratum. So that all-wheel drive on the underpowered car really helped the Stratum up the mountain. So I'd say, you know, for speed and performance, those these two cars are otherwise on par, the Stratum and this. So it's just that all-wheel drive that helped the Stratum get up the mountain quicker. Yeah, it, it, I mean, there's not a lot to say about it. Except the fact the brakes aren't the best, um, and going downhill is a bit more of a challenge. But it, since it is sunset, what we did is uh, once we got to the bottom, uh, we drove back to the top, and then we just kind of hung out and got up to shenanigans while we waited for daylight again. Um, the headshot kill challenge may key you into some of the shenanigans that we got up to. Um, yeah, when the Vainglorious crew is around, fun things happen. And if you want to join in that fun, yeah, the hitbox on this car is kind of weird, by the way. Uh, and I managed to take it out uh, with that boulder. But that was a nice piece of driving, the way I just went with it. Mid-roll, landed it, backed up, and kept going like a pro. So despite all the notification beeps, I am indeed a professional YouTuber at work. Just a very underpaid one. Um... Anyways, as I was saying, if you would like to join in all the fun that we have, please join the Vainglorious Discord server uh, and say it along with me. The link is in the description down below. Um, it's open to anybody. Uh, we recently just added a music channel to it. You know, if you really want a bot to play music for you, knock stuff out. Um, I'll probably just mute the thing because I don't want to hear anybody's music because, grumpy. 
Uh, no, not really. <laughs> Mainly just because, uh, you know, I, I won't be able to hear people I'm talking to. But I chat there. A lot of other people chat there. We There's a memes room. We, we have a lot of fun in Discord. Um, and, uh, you know, you may find some faces that you recognize from other places in the GTA community there as well. Maybe. Just saying. And, of course, if you play on PC, you are welcome to join us on Sunday afternoons. When we record, we'll it off road that we haven't the past couple weeks because of my internet being a flaming pile of dog shit. Um, but once that gets sorted out, we'll resume regular service of recording. And we'd love to have you as well, as long as you can obey a few simple rules and we'll explain them to you when you get there. We're down with the intruder. Two minutes, 35 seconds. This is normally when we would drive the car off the top of the mountain, but since we had to wait for daylight, like I said, we got up to shen shenanigans. I had my sniper, because I, I really wanted to just take out the uh, the helicopter, because I thought it'd be, you know, funny to watch the helicopter fall. And instead, Schwinn decided to kill me, and then I had to fire back, you know. And there we go. You would think, is, is the glass on that helicopter just bullet resistant? Because I clearly had two shots right on him, and he took no damage. The chopper took damage, though, because later on, I think I edited it out. Later on, it is smoking. Um, but I figured I'd try to up and atomize just so I could just cause it to flip over in the air, but it's just out of range. However, watch this shot with the up and atomizer. Bye, Sven! Splat. <laughs> that was, I was so proud of that shot. Here, Fat Cubed is up to no good with a minigun. I tried to get him, almost had him. And uh, you're gonna hear it. Yeah, we call that the cunt gun. Uh, and then he thought he was gonna get me too. And nope, before he could see where I was, it took him out. And that's a punch in the head for doing such stupid things. Um, and you know, it, it, this is just what we get up to. It's all in good fun. You know, we're not like mad at each other. Or, you, we're just literally goofing off. And you know, our cars are parked safely out of the way. Uh, so nothing's gonna get blown up or anything like that. Just us. Tried to take Schwinn out with the oven atomizer. Instead, he annihilated me with a rocket launcher. Um, but I got him back. Don't worry. I got him back. See? Combat MG. Love my combat MGs. But, uh, but then, boom, another rocket comes right in. It takes me out. And, yeah. Now, now check this out. I, I'm, yeah. I, I'm trying to go in with the stone hatchet to, you know, get that rampage on. Fail twice, and then Fat Cube knocks us both off. I realize the sun's coming up. Pull up my phone to check the time and realize, oh yeah, we've got a video to record. So here we are in the intruder for our damage descent. Everybody lined up like nothing ever happened. All ready to just go down the mountain together. And we do genuinely have a, a lot of fun when, when we're doing that just massive murder spree. Um... It, it is it's just fun and if you're the type of person you know who can get into that without your ego being involved you know you don't have to i'm getting that kill back you know because it has to be a one for one thing with you then you'll fit in fine with us if, if you're chill about it and everything because we are just goofing off and having a lot of fun wow two sultans of different varieties four door and an rs so, I guess classic NRS. I do like Commander Hobo's Salt. I know it's beat to hell right now, but I do like it quite a bit. Trying to get this car to go in a straight line. Later on, I'm going to be struggling to keep it on its wheels. Um, so, it either wants to go backwards or upside down at all times. And it likes to hit loaders. Very frustrating in the damage descent. Not exactly uh, the place you want to have. A big rear-wheel drive family sedan. I think everybody else in their all-wheel drive cars are faring much better than me. Um, but at least they're all staying right here in a nice, close-knit group. On my roof, though. And uh, I'm going to stay there for a little while. Thanks to Commander not letting me roll over there. I think he did that intentionally. I'm sure he'll say it was an accident. But yeah, still sliding. Definitely still on my roof. And finally... In the tunnel, I stopped sliding enough that I can get turned over. And everybody was kind enough to wait on me. I, the, the minivan sitting there? I swear I saw a minivan sitting there. And then, oh, there's a commander in the way. I almost got the pain back. And then Sven just, I think that was Sven, slams into the side, into the uh, support column. And yeah, it's just, it's a melee. Well, I think he has a crossbeam. Look at that. 
neat. Um, I wonder if that gets added on when you put on one of the other appearance sporty thingies. I don't know. Maybe it's just there on the car. But this car is beat up. I mean, really, truly beat up. But we're down to it. It's 14 seconds. So let's take a look at the damage on the intruder. And, of course, it is a lot. All the lights and windows are gone. The hood and both bumpers are gone. The right front fender is gone. There is severe body damage. And it has bent wheels. And, of course, we will take a look at Schwinn being murdered by Fat Cubed as we look at the support vehicles. Uh, yeah, those two Sultans both beat up pretty bad. The Kuruma is not as bad. But that's going to do it for this episode of Will It Off-Road. Don't forget to go vote for the vehicles that you want to see featured in upcoming Will It Off-Road videos. And also make sure you play along with Bingo and come join us on Discord. And until next time, I'm Brandon reminding you to stay vainglorious.